Ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, a few of our guests that are still trying to get through the line, so we'll be starting momentarily after we get everybody in the stadium. Thank you.
working. Good afternoon, everyone. What a difference a few hours late. Wait, what a difference a few hours makes. The delay sometimes uh, confuses us up here, but I'm glad to see everyone here this afternoon as we begin the ceremony. I'd like to ask our honors course members to please come to the stage. Will everyone please stand, and gentlemen, please remove your hats for the presentations of colors by the North Brunswick High School JROTC Color Guard. The national anthem will be performed by the North Brunswick High School Honors Chorus, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Everyone, please join me in the pledge at this time. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Will everyone please be seated? At this time, I would like to in introduce the president for the senior class of 2023, Kayla Howard. Good morning. My name is Kayla Howard. I am the senior class president, and it is my privilege to introduce some of our honored guests for this occasion. From the Brunswick County Board of Commissioners, Chairman Mr. Randy Thompson, Vice Chairman Mr. Mike Forte, Mr. Martin Marty Cook, Mrs. Pat Sykes, Mr. Frank Williams, 
from the Brunswick County Schools Board of Education, Chairman Mr. Stephen Barger, Vice Chairman Mrs. Ro Robin Moffitt, Mr. Steve Ganey, and Mr. Harry Lemon Jr. Mr. David Robinson. Please join me in welcoming our honored guests for this occasion. Thank you, Kayla. At this time, I'd like to introduce Vice President of the Senior Class of 2023, Cameron Phillips. Good afternoon, my name is Cameron Phillips. I'm the senior class vice president, and it is my privilege to introduce members of our Brunswick County Schools administration. Interim superintendent of schools, Colonel Les Tubb, deputy superintendent, Ms. Molly White, chief finance officer, Ms. Freya Cahill, chief operations officer, Mr. Larry Smith, chief human resource officer, Mr. Stephen Foster, Chief Communications Officer, Mr. Gordon Burnett. Please join me in welcoming all of our honored guests. Thank you, Cameron. At this time, we will have a tribute to the class of 2023 by senior Delaney Rhodes. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting through the wind wanting to start again? Do you ever feel, feel so paper thin like a house of cards won't blow from caving in? Do you ever feel already buried deep six feet under screens but no one seems to hear a thing? Do you know that there's still a chance for you cause there's a spark in you you just gotta ignite the light and let it shine just so the night like the 5th of July cause baby you're a firework come on show them what you worth make them go ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, as you shoot across the sky ah uh, ah uh, baby you're a Come on, show them what you earth. Make them go, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You're going to leave them all in awe, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You don't have to feel like a waste of space. Your original cannot be replaced. If you only knew what the future holds after a hurricane comes a rainbow. Maybe a reason why all the doors are closed so you could open one that leads you to the perfect road. Like a lightning bolt, your heart will blow. And when it's time, you'll know you just got to ignite the light and let it shine just so the night like the 4th of July cause baby you're a firework come on show them what you earth make them go ah, ah, ah. as you shoot across the sky ah, ah, ah. baby You're gonna leave them all in awe, oh, oh, oh. Great job, Delaney. 
At this time, I would like to recognize those students who will be joining the military to serve our country. Please stand as I call your name and remain standing. And please hold all applause until all names have been called. For the U.S. Army Reserve Officer Training Corps, Jasmine Lopez. Into the U.S. Army, Caitlin Shields, Dulce Angeles Perez, Xavion Williams, and Gianni Corbett. Into the North Carolina Army National Guard, Jose Gonzalez and Brianna Carr. Into the U.S. Air Force, Russin Jeffers. And into the United States Marine Corps, Justice Hagee, Nehemiah Royal, and Drayson Reed. Please join me in giving these students a huge round of applause. All right, you may be seated. In March 1983, the State Board of Education created what has become known as the North Carolina Academic Scholars Program. Students who complete requirements for an academically challenging high school program are named academic scholars and receive special recognition. Any student who qualify for this special recognition will be designated by the State Board of Education as a North Carolina Academic Scholar, receive a seal of recognition attached to their diploma, and may use this special recognition when applying to post-secondary institutions. To become a North Carolina Academic Scholar, a student must complete the course of study specified and must achieve an overall unweighted grade point average of 3.5 or above. North Brunswick is proud to present the following scholars. As your name is called, please stand and remain standing to be recognized. Please hold your applause until all students have been recognized. The recipient of North Brunswick High School's 2003 North Carolina Academic Awards are Benjamin Ackerman, Miera Austin, Brian Baez Rodriguez, Olivia Bridges, Avery Brigman, Navaya Bullard, Aiden Bush, Lindsey Carpenter, Chase Koshard, Caden Cook, Jordan Crumpton, Zia Deberry, Madeline Fisher, Charlie Garst, Gregory Guerrero, Sean Gomez, Rebecca Goodson, Haley Gore, Shataya Granger, Nicole Gallark, Jason Gua, Lindsay Harding, Sophia Hefner, Sydney Hennis, Brittany Herena Herrera Parla, excuse me. Let me read that again. Brittany Herrera Parla, Madison Hewitt, Joshua Cooper, excuse me, Joshua Hunt, Cooper Hunter, Kayla Ivey, Kayla Kelly, Quali King, Noah Kanegi, Jasmine Lopez, Aliyah Marin, Hannah Myers, Oren O'Brien, Jackson Omer, Soraya Pettiford, Cameron Phillips, Alyssa Robinson, Taylor Russ, Moreno Sanchez Mendoza, Caitlin Shields, Christopher Scarvellis, Jordan Smith, Madeline Smith, Chelsea Smith Russell, Nicholas Sorensen, Zachary Stanley, Sierra Serkin, Ryan Tuck, Aiden Wagner, Angel Weber, Marcia Whitley. Please join me in congratulating these students. You may be seated. In addition to our North Carolina Academic Scholars Awards, we have several other groups of honor students that we would like to recognize. As your name is called, please stand and remain standing to be recognized. 
please hold your applause until all names have been called. Our first group of honors students is the National Honor Society. These students have demonstrated outstanding scholarship, leadership, service, and character. These members are Madeline Smith, President, Cameron Phillips, Vice President, Brian Baez Rodriguez, Secretary, Miera Austin, Lindsey Carpenter, Jordan Crumpton, Charlie Garst, Sean Gomez, Jason Guo, Sydney, excuse me, Sydney Hennis, Rex Hunter, Kwali King, Kaylee Lawson, Jasmine Lopez, Aliyah Morin, Hannah Myers, Jackson Omer, Soraya Pettiford, Jordan Smith. Please join me in congratulating these students. You may be seated. AVID is a college readiness system designed to increase the number of students who enroll in four-year colleges. Although AVID serves all students, it focuses on the le least served students in the academic middle. The formula is simple, raise expectations of students, and with the AVID support system in place, they will rise to the challenge. Today, AVID has been adopted by nearly 6,000 schools in 45 states, the District of Columbia, and 16 countries slash territories, and serves approximately 2 million students in grades four through 12. Schools and districts have taken methodologies and strategies from the elective courses and implemented them school district wide to impact their entire communities and create articulated programs for college success. As your name is called, please stand and remain standing to be recognized. Please hold your applause until all of the names have been called. This year marks our 10th graduating class of students involved in the AVID program. And these students are Dominic Atkinson Bell, Madeline Floyd, Jasmine Lawson, Hannah Myers, Connor West, William Youngen. Please join me in congratulating this group of students. You may be seated. Thank you, Colonel Baker, Mr. Stewart, Ms. King, and congratulations to all these students for these amazing accomplishments they've had. Would like to take a moment to thank everyone for your patience for coming out and uh, uh, letting the sun come out and dry things up a little bit this afternoon so we can congratulate these seniors appropriately. We do appreciate that. I want to thank our operations department, our custodians, our staff members, and everyone who's been out here since 6 a.m. this morning making sure that we could get this graduation ceremony underway. So thank you all. And I do want to give a shout out to Home Depot for uh, providing the uh, floral arrangements for us here today as well. At this time, I have the honor of presenting two prestigious awards, the Valedictorian and the Salutatorian Awards. The recipients of these awards have both followed a rigorous academic program. These students have distinguished themselves by demonstrating academic excellence throughout their high school careers. In addition to academics, each is actively engaged in a variety of school and community activities. The first award to be presented is the Salutatorian of North Brunswick High School's graduating class of 2023. The senior has earned the second highest weighted grade point average for this class. The class of 2023 Salutatorian is Aaron O'Brien.
Before I get started, I would like to thank all the teachers and staff at North Brunswick High School for helping me get to where I am today. I couldn't have done it without all of you, and I'm glad I had the opportunity to live the high school experience. In particular, I would like to thank Mr. Barrett for always being open to adaptability and for putting so much work into what he does. I would like to thank Mrs. Weigold and Mrs. Fitzgerald for inspiring me and helping me find and expand interests and passions in ways that I never knew I could, and for teaching me all the intriguing information that I could ask for. Finally, I would like to thank Mr. Murrow for doing everything he has done, despite still being in grad school on top of teaching, for his students and, his, and for his senior AP literature class, just to help us have successful futures. If it wasn't for all the teachers and staff in North Brunswick, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to stand up here today and give this, give this speech and to learn all the things I've learned. I would also like to thank my parents, as um, they've been with me throughout this entire journey. My name is Aaron O'Brien, and most of you probably haven't even heard of me. And well, that's because I'm just another guy like anybody else. I'm not popular. I don't have any magical superpowers that make me good at everything. I simply live life, struggle, cry, hit some walls, and overcome others. The reason I'm, I'm up here today is not because I'm the second, second best senior in the senior class, but simply because I happen to end up with the second highest GPA. In other words, I'm only up here because my personal interests and abilities happen to match up with what is expected and asked of me in the US public school system. I'm only here because the things I found interesting just happened to be exactly what school was here to teach and what, and what the teachers and staff just happened to be invested enough to be willing to support me in that. So let this introductory speech not be about me, but about all of you. All the teachers and staff who've done the best they can, working with much lower wages than they deserve, just because they want us to have stable and happy futures. About all of us students struggling through adolescence and emerging adulthood, trying to find our own sense of identity in this big, wide, confusing, and constantly changing world. This is your life, and all you can do is live it. Taking in each moment, maybe some regrets here, bad decisions there, but ultimately just doing the best that you can do to be the you that you want to be. We all make mistakes, we all do dumb things sometimes, and that's just what it means to be human. We, as a species, didn't evolve to fit a technological civilization. We evolved to live in small tribes of hunters and gatherers, spending every moment of our lives working hard together to make ends meet and to stay alive. So of course, when placed in an environment with governments and capitalism and industrialization and the internet, we're going to struggle a little bit. Of course, we're going to have some biases, prejudice, and of course, we're gonna make some mistakes in life or even maybe a lot of mistakes in life. But all we can look at is the present and look at the future and think to ourselves, what can we do next? What should we do next? And there's, one, there's no one right answer, not to any question. Every single human on this planet has a brain that is biologically unique from every other. Given that fact, isn't it unreasonable for anyone to impose their values or ideas on anyone else at all? Asking a person to do something they're just not biologically designed to do is like asking somebody without legs to walk, just on a less extreme and more socially acceptable level. I mean, we're all human, so we all have a lot of similarities and generally have the same brain parts in the same places, but that doesn't mean each brain part works, in the, sa works the same in every person or has developed in the same way. So now all we can really do is make the best of what we individually have to offer. I can do calculus, I can do science, I can program on computers and more, but standing up, right here, standing up here right now, my legs are shaking. This is scary and I'm not made to do something like this. I'm not made to stand up in front of a crowd of people, some I know, most I don't, and open up my heart. But I do have beliefs that I wish to stand for, and sometimes standing for what you believe in takes a little courage. Sometimes one part of your brain conflicts with another and you're forced to weigh the differences and make a decision. Sometimes living life takes being able to give a speech even if your legs are shaking and you're stuttering every other word. It takes not being afraid to go against the norm and stand up for yourself or those around you when no one else will. And those are things that will never be easy to do. It's up to us to keep this cycle of change going from generation to generation, even when it can be hard, because that's how the world grows. That's how we grow. I guess the idea in the end is to just do, do the best you can in every situation. If you're tired and a break is the best thing, then a break is the best thing, and that's okay. You gotta take one for yourself sometimes. If coming to school in a top hat and a suit for an AP psychology project is the best thing, then so be it. If being there for a friend, even just letting them know they're not alone is all you can do, then you go and you do it. We're all different and have different skills, skill sets, interests, experiences, and knowledge. Life would be boring if we were all the same, so let's take advantage of our diversity and make the most out of it. High school went by way too fast, and I can't help but wish I could go back sometimes and do it all over again. But at the same time, I can't help but be excited for what the future holds 
coming into high school, the world is full of opportunities. Going into college at Chapel Hill, I feel like I'm 14 again and ready to take on the world. It's my chance to become a freshman all over again, but in, it, but in an even more exciting and exciting environment with endless possibilities. But obviously that's not how it goes for everyone, and that's okay. At the North Carolina Governor's School, the staff introduced themselves by each asking a rhetorical question. One question that stuck with me until this day, until this day goes, what's wrong with working at a cafe your whole life? I've never talked to the person who asked that question, and I doubt I ever will. But despite that, that simple sentence has broadened my perspective and given me a lot to think about. Life isn't about doing everything you can for some ultimate greater purpose. It's just about being you in the best way you can. Being you in the way that only you can. If living the simple life, working at a cafe until you're 65 is the way to do that, then so be it. No matter what each of us decides to do with our futures, I'm excited to see where our class of 2023 goes and how the world might change with us in it. Thank you. Sorry, the wind has blown our program around a little bit. Thank you, Aaron. The second award to be presented is to the valedictorian of the North Brunswick High School class of 2023. This senior has earned the highest weighted grade point average in the class of 2023. The valedictorian for North Brunswick this year is Madeline Smith. Class of 2023, congrats. Over the past 12 years, each and every one of us has experienced a considerable amount of change and growth as we transitioned from elementary school to middle school and high school. Although today is our official last day as students of North Brunswick High, the memories and experiences we have made over the years last forever. Two things I learned that stayed with me throughout the years is the importance of mindset and mindfulness. Have a good mindset that promotes growth. When you are constantly growing, you are welcoming new challenges and opportunities into your life, as well as goals you wish to achieve that with time and determination, you can accomplish. Avoid having a fixed mindset. When your mindset is fixed, you tend to avoid challenges or shy away from tasks that are perceived as difficult and take hard work to obtain. Remember, not everything is obtainable the first try. Success is the ending point, not the starting part. I encourage you to be open to struggling. This is easily said, but can take a lot to do. A quote I remember for times I feel as if I am struggling is flowers can't grow with, with just the sun, rain is needed too. We cannot grow with just good days. We need bad days too. Instead of letting bad days bring you down, let those type of days motivate you to want to do better and feel better. Be mindful of others as well as yourself. Not everyone you encounter will respect you or have good intentions for you. Be the type of person you wish to attract in your life. Surround yourself with people who support you who care for you and always wish you the best wherever you may go. I would like to thank my family for their continuous support throughout my academic journey. I have been so fortunate to have my twin sister, Dorn Smith, with me from the very beginning of kindergarten to my senior year of high school. Thank you to all of my friends who I've made in school. I truly appreciate every one of you. Two friends in particular who I'd like to acknowledge are Anna Garcia, and Aliyah Marin for both in their own ways being an inspiration to me and for making every moment spent together enjoyable. Next, I would like to acknowledge a teacher at North Brunswick, Miss Jessica Lewis, my chemistry teacher, chemistry teacher and sponsor of Science Olympiad. 
This year, I challenged myself and took her AP chemistry class. Ms. Lewis supported me and helped me grasp a better understanding of the units we covered in the class. I was also taking an industrial chemistry and engineering course through the North Carolina School of Science and Math, and Ms. Lewis was always willing to provide guidance when I needed it. I would like to thank Ms. Christina Lazari Oliver, my mother, Dr. Beretta Smith, and the counseling department at North Brunswick for all the help they have given me over the last four years and with class schedules, scholarships, and most of all, for being a support system for students when needed. Lastly, I would like to thank Mr. Donnie Myers and the rest of the staff at North Brunswick who have been so kind to me and supportive throughout my high school journey. To this year's graduating class, after high school plans are so diverse in regards to where you could go or what you could do. Whether you plan to attend a four-year college, community college, military, start your own business, or start working, I wish you all the absolute best. Have a good summer, be safe, and congratulations for your accomplishment today. Thank you. Congratulations, Mandy. As some of you may know already, I graduated from North Brunswick High School 41 years ago, way back in 1981. A lot has changed on this campus since that time. We only had two buildings, that was the 100 building and the 200 building. We only had one gym. There was a large water tower back where the JROTC building is. The kitchen was where the dance room is and the gym lobby was the cafeteria where we all ate. I could easily continue with a long list of things that have changed over the past 42 years. But instead of doing that, let me tell you what has not changed. First are your parents and family members. Just as it was 42 years ago, the stands are filled today with those people who have helped you become who you are today. They have raised you, they have supported you, they have loved you, and today, they are proud of you. Second are your teachers. Yes, the names and faces have changed since 1981, but their mission has not. Just as my teachers cared about me, taught me, and not just about math, science, English, social studies, but also about the responsibility that I have about citizenship, about being a good person. So has this group of outstanding educators taught you. So at this time, class of 2023, I ask you to please stand and give those people in the audience today who have helped you reach this milestone, please give them a huge round of applause. All right, you may be seated. Class, this program you are participating in is often referred to as a commencement ceremony because it is the beginning of a new chapter in your life. So as this chapter of your life comes to an end and you set out your next journey in life, always remember these four things. Do good work, make good choices, stay safe, and always be positive. At this time, I'm going to invite Colonel Baker to the stage. He will read names, and the administration of North Brunswick will present diplomas. Seniors, please, please prepare to receive your diplomas. Junior Marshals, please escort the first row to the stage. Come all the way up. Step right here and then hand me your thing. And just wait and wait until I call you. You ready, sir? Benjamin Blake Ackerman. Fabian Aguilar Mendoza.
Miera, Janice, Alston, Merla, Soeed, Alvarado, Palomares, Natalia, Moesia, Amos, Dulce, Abigail, Angeles Perez, Leah, Avon, Anton, Linnea, Ari, Anton, Jaden, Jamal, Armstrong, Dominic, Atkinson, Bell, Brian, Nicholas, Baez, Rodriguez, Chloe, Grace, Baker, Logan, Alexander, Baldwin, Dexter, Roscoe, Baldwin Bay, Jr., Marnetta, LeMay, Ballard, Ryan Cole Ballard. Amarion. Amarion. Jashawn Balloon. Matea Brooke Barnhart. Braxton Callaway Beck. Aiden Ray Bishop, Nathan Everett Lee Black, Michael Thomas Brown, Avery Matthew Brigman, Jordan Lee Braham. Olivia Ray Bridges. Tyshawn Carmelo Bowen. Trinity Bozeman. Javen Nyshawn Bolden. Jaden Ori Brothwell, Madison Elizabeth Bland, Samira Isabella Brown, Kiran Javar Bryant, Navaya Lachey Bullard. Jada Meese, Faustine Burnett. Aiden, John Bush. Micah Jaquez Callahan. Alora Nicole Caps. Katherine, Lizette Cardona Navarrete. Lindsay Ann Carpenter, Brianna Mason Carr, Devon, Devon Terrell Cheney the second, Christian Chavez Lopez, Connor Allen Clark, Chase Edmund Koshard. Caden Shay Cook, Gianni Therese Corbett, 
Devery Elizabeth Cote. Noah James Craven. Matthew Tyler Crisante. Jordan Eileen Crumpton. Jonah Aileen Cruz. Aaliyah Brooklyn McKenna Cutler. Kamayu Atreus Daly. Mason Gage Dean. Zia Ivory Simone DeBerry. Quamel. Quamel Zachariah Delaney. Davin Rappert Dietz. Kylie Nicole Dowler. Reagan Blair Doyle. Matthew Addison Dudek. Hayden Joseph Esau. Julissa Esquivel Bohorquez. Ava Kathleen Factor. Give me a second. Jaquan. Jaquan Amar Farley. Jalen Amir Farley. Alexander Martin Farmer. Madeline Grace Fisher. Brianna Catherine Fisher. Caden Lee Floyd. Madeline Eva Floyd. Anna Karen Garcia Cardenas. Andy Garcia Flores. Charlie Elizabeth Garst. Gregory Thomas Gennaro. Jomir Alejandro Gill. April Marie Goodman. Goodwin. Sean Alexander Gomez. Ricardo Gonzalez Garcia. Jose Angel Gonzalez Vasquez. Giovanni Alberto Gonzalez. Rebecca Goodson. Haley Nicole Gore. Hannah Leanne Gore. Tucker Franklin Goss. Shataya Unique Granger. William Theodore Granger. Nicole Ann Graylick. Deshaun Matthew Green. Slow down a second. Hold on, hold on. Isaiah Hiram Greer. Kelvin Moises Gwillen Hernandez. Passe Kwamani Gilroy. Gilroy. Jason Gao. Elizabeth Gutierrez Nina. Peyton Nicole Guyton. Game on. Justice Ray Hagee. Adian Alexander Ham. 
David Anthony Ham. Benjamin Greer Hansen. Lily Ann Harding. Oops, what'd you do to me? Darren Michael Hashimi. Kelsey Kalis Arian Hawes. Sophia Lillian Hefner. Hunter James Hegner. Sydney Mariska Hennis. Serenity Lachey Henry. Nathan Ray Hensley. Brittany Lorraine. Brittany Lorraine Herrera Perla. Madison Grace Hewitt. Ryland Marshall Hewitt. Miranda Lee Hill. Nasir Ramel Hines. Randy Lee, Madison Holt, Joshua Charles Hunt, Cooper Michael Hunter, Rex Nolan Hunter, Ty Nat Hoon. Brianna Elizabeth Ivy. What is it? Kayla Jean Ivy. Jordan, Jordan Jaron Jackson. <laughs> Kayla Denise Jacobs. Zachary Glenn James. Daniel William Jenkins. Benicio Antonio Jennings. Is that Jim? Zayin? Dante Zayin Jimeno. Jordan Naraya Jones. Cole Powell Keith. Chelsea Marie Kelly. Kayla Brooke Kelly. Khalid Nasir Kenyon. Quali, right? Quali Jamal King. Noah Gregory Cornegay. Jacob Taylor Stephen Cron. Lanny, Lanny or Lanny? Lanny, Lanny, Lanny. <laughs> Michaela Faith Lanny. Callie, right? Callie Jade Lawson. Jasmine Michelle Lawson. <laughs> Cameron Taylor Lewis. Grace Marie Lewis. Ralph Kenneth Lewis Jr. Alyssa, Alyssa Corinne Lewis Dunlop. Abigail Rose Little. 
Justin? Justin Lee Livingston. Skyla. Skyla Rain Lockhart. Savannah. Savannah Angeline Lombardo. Jasmine Lee Lopez. Leonardo Lopez Castillo. Jail. Jai. Jail Jasmine Lopez Hernandez. What is it? Madison Gail. Laurence, Laurence, Trevor, James, Lucas, Aaliyah, Marie, Marin, Lee, Chloe, Lee, Marnell, Anthony, Joseph, Martels. Cynthia Martinez Pizana. Augustine. Lucas Agustin Martinez. Jesus. Jesus Antonio Martinez Salazar. Trayvon Curtis Masters. Amelia. Amelia Nicole McCarthy. Michael Aaron McDermott. Brianna Elaine McDonald. Mackenzie Elaine McKeithen. Lee. Kendall Lee McLaughlin. Zoe Jane McLaughlin. Justin Tyant Ballard McLean. What is it? Amelia Grace McNally. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I wrote it down. All right, thank you. Aubrey Kaylin Metter. Antoinetta. Antoinetta Marie Mendez. McKinley, McKinley Cole Merrill. Caleb James McKish. Lauren. Lauren Marie Metalsworth. Marissa Grace Milano. Brian Ryan Ripley Miller. Clay Joseph Milliken. Landon Ray Mills. Mims. Michaela Brooke Mims. Emily Marie Mitchell. Xavier, Xavier Carlos Montgomery. Zaire Capone Montgomery. Yassir. Brandon Yassir Moody. Connor Pete Morgan. Kieran Patrick Moriarty. Jeremy Dominique Mosley. Jonathan Cradell Mosley Jr. Hannah. Hannah Grace Myers. Hayden Alexander Nance. Sedona, Sedona Faye Napolitano. 
Grayson Cole Newman. Isaac. Isaac Elijah Nipper. Alyssa Michelle Norris. Jacob Ryan Norris. Kaylee Renee Northam. Miguel, Miguel Nunez Bautista. Mary, Maria Lynn Ochoa. Davion? Jackson. Jackson Tyler. Jackson Tyler Omer. Grayson? Nope. Yep. Pahi. Grayson Alexander Pahi. Emily? Emily Morgan Page. Andrew Joseph Paladino. Give me a second. Germany, Amia. Germany, Amia Sky Patterson. Devin? Yeah. Devin Ronald Pete. Gabriel Ivan Perdemo Correa. Stephanie Perez Villegas. Soraya Nyana Pettiford. What are you doing? Gage Nye Phillips. Cadence Renee Pinto. Devin, Devin Mitchell Poletta. Crystal, good to see you. Crystal Porcayo Rodriguez. Carson Drake Potter. Angel Marie Prunty. Bella Ann Rainville. Nicholas Stephen Ramsey. David Rangel. Drayson Lee Reed. Luis Fernando Resendez Sanchez. Johan. Johan. Izel Reyes Lopez. Porter Joseph Reynolds. Tyon. Tyon Messiah Richardson. Corey Drain, Corey James Treshorn Robbins. Alyssa? Alyssa Monique Robinson. Chenaya Rondasia Robinson. Michaela Jessica Robinson. Riley McCoy Rogers. <laughs> Kevin Esteban Romero Porta Carrero. Brevin Michael Rue. Jocelyn Ruiz. Andrea Jocelyn Ruiz. Taylor Noel Russ. Samantha Judith Sage. Mariano Sanchez Mendoza. Christopher. Oh, I can't see this one. Wilfredo. Christopher Wilfredo Sepulveda. 
Caitlin Brooke Shields. Manaya Monique Shipman. Kaylee Dawn Simmons. Andre Tyrone Simpson. Christopher Lee Scarvellis Jr. Adam Pemberton Smith. Amari Bernard Smith. Jordan Ann Smith. Chelsea Hannah Smith Russell. Nicholas, Nicholas Patrick McClellan Sorensen. Saniah Ariana. Saniah Ariana Spicer. Zachary Bryson Stanley. Austin Lee Strickland. Sierra Marie Serkin. Tanasia. Tanasia Jayon Tarber. Kaylee Osiana Taylor. Brooke Lee Thomas. Summer Lynn Thornton. Ubaldo. Jail. Ubaldo Jail Torres Ibarra. Ryan Thomas Tuck. Richard Ricky Turner. Carmelina Marie Vera. Layla. Yamila. Layla Yamila Villazana Guterres. Zanaya. Zanaya Amani Waddell. Aiden Michael Jean Wagner. Ramaya. Ramaya Michelle. Ramaya Michelle Warren. Give me a second. Robert Eugene Watkins. Angel Renee Weber. Connor Matthew West. Zanai Paulina Westfield. Space. That's all right. Where are we at here? Amarian. Amarian Yero Williams. Xavion Montrell Williams. Abigail Hope Williamson. Marquise Kayron Anthony Whitley. William Jacob Wilkins. Mary Elizabeth Williamson. Asia Akari Willis. Heaven, Haven. Haven Ann Witkowski. Ayla Melissa Rose Warmoth. Abigail Amelia Young. William Stephen Youngins. Avery Marie Zaydorzani. Jacob Daniel Zam. Zimmer. 
Micah James Zimmerly. Kayla Irene Howard. Cameron Renee Phillips. Good job today. Delaney Lynn Rhodes. Madeline Jean Smith. Aaron Carlos O'Brien. I'm keeping your page for you. I'm not going to let it blow. <laughs> okay, thank you. Seniors, please stand. <laughs> Colonel Tubb. Mr. Ganey, Mr. Robinson, Ms. White, I now certify that the seniors standing before you have met all requirements to receive their high school diploma. Therefore, by the power vested in me in the state of North Carolina as the principal of North Brunswick High School, I declare these students now graduates. Graduates, you may now turn your tassels from the right to the left. Now to honor our graduates, I ask that everyone remain standing and at their seats as, as the newest class of North Brunswick High School graduates departs the stadium. I do want to give one plug. This will be the first class that will actually have their graduation pictures in the 50th anniversary yearbook. And they're still on sale, so order yours today. Marshals, please take your stations. <laughs> 